Okay, uh, we're the 8th of April 2023 as I start recording this video. And uh, I've been doing this for the past few days. Uh, I record videos uh, when I eat my breakfast and I talk uh, really r randomly in a way. Uh, I don't know if or when I will publish uh, these videos. Maybe I will. Uh, at some moment, uh, yeah, but we, without uh, much editing, this is really um, my therapy. <laughs> so about breakfast, uh, yeah, I, I never thought that I would do these kind of videos, but I take pills. Th this is these are organic uh, supplement diet um, to have. more energy uh, it has helped me a lot for memory and concentration um, because here I make a remark I, I used to be really a, a minimalist <coughs> in terms of diet and uh, I had maybe health problems in December because I hadn't eaten a balanced diet uh, balanced meals uh, for many months I uh, ate I had a minimalist diet <coughs> and it caused me a uh, exhaustion and uh, mind numb numbingness yeah this is vi these are vitamins everything is organic and um, the change of diet that I've started um, this is pollen um, produced by bees my change of diet organic, ecological, local vegetarian um, has done me a whole lot of good I've gained in vitality. Um, my skin, I don't really care anymore, but it's a little bit better. I've lost a lot of weight. I can still be exhausted sometimes, but uh, when I go out a little bit, I walk, I take cold showers, I sit uh, to have rays from the sun sometimes. Uh, when I'm exhausted, I drink fresh orange juice that I produced myself. Not the oranges, but the production of the juice. And in the morning, I eat usually eggs, a potato, an onion, and here I don't know how you call this. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> to have a solid breakfast, uh, everything is bought locally, organic, uh, and fresh, I might say. Uh, so, there are an enormous amount of social problems that could be solved if people change their diet for the better. And here I will talk about my daily routine. <coughs> it's not a extremely rigorous but usually I wake up very early uh, <clears throat> there was a moment a few weeks ago where I woke up towards uh, 2 a.m. in the morning now I woke up towards um, 5 or 6 a.m. 
I briefly clean my room. I wash the dishes if I didn't do it the night before. <coughs> I go to the bathroom, I take a cold shower. <coughs> um, I watch a few videos. Mises Institute, Ron Paul, uh, Mises Media. I mean, I do not watch many videos, but I check uh, the financial uh, economic news by following Ron Paul. Uh, Mises Media and Tom Wood briefly, most of the time. I look at the news. Um, in the US, in France, and sometimes in England, briefly. Um, then I prefer I prefer breakfast. I watch uh, some of my videos that I that's what I've been doing recently. Some of the videos that I haven't yet published to write the structure um, when it will be published. Sometimes I watch Psych to Go. It takes me probably two hours. Then I go out. I pick up cigarette butts in the street. I go make a donation, usually, not every day, but at least three or four times a week. I distribute a book. Um, I buy supplies. I go drink a, an organic herbal infusion while studying, usually a, a book about economics or libertarianism or a scientific book. So I sit. Um, while having a, a cup of uh, herbal tea for, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, while studying a book, and then I come back, I order and clean my room. Um, and then <clears throat> what I've been doing recently after having spent months uh, ordering my room is that now that it is more or less ordered, I I, regi I um, record content. I've been doing this for uh, the past few weeks, uh, hour, hours and hours of content uh, production that I have not yet published as I record this. Yeah. And, um, I try to find stability because there are informations uh, <clears throat> coming from everywhere. And here I make a remark about uh, <clears throat> epistemology, one might say. Truth. If it is true, um, does not become outdated in a sense that uh, uh, what we see <coughs> daily in, in, in the outside world or in the news, these are singular events. <coughs> they are always different, uh, always changing always um, <coughs> always new one might say but the particular and the universal here in the realm of the laws which um, determine all the, the singular events whether we're talking about natural phenomena um, the, 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 the physical world or social phenomena the laws which 
govern the phenomena that would be the universal, um, these laws, if they are correct, they do not change. This is, this is here I make a remark because I, I've distributed uh, a book about um, a criticism of um, statist policies from a French liber liberal economist, uh, Monsieur Charles Gave, who is influenced by Milton Friedman. The, 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 the very few intelligent public intellectuals in, in France in the, the, the mainstream, I mean it's not really mainstream because he's kind of a, a, off the system, he's not really within the system but he's nonetheless a public intellectual because he's some, he has some sort of, of, a pre of prestige and it, it's, he deserves because he's very intelligent but the very few uh, intelligent public intellectuals in a country like France uh, they borrow most of their ideas from American libertarians here that's Milton Friedman but someone like Monsieur Nemo he borrows his ideas from Mises and Hayek and that, that's not that's not a criticism that's good but simply uh, yet yeah, very few lucid and clear-minded people in, in a country like France they borrow all their ideas almost from America and that's good but um, yeah so yeah oh. the, the reason why the in, in the realm of economics the classical liberal, what we would today call the libertarians in an English speaking jargon, the libertarians, right wing, free market, pro private property uh, advocates, the reason why they are much more clear minded and lucid than, than all other economists and, and politicians and journalists is simply because they understand in the fundamental determinations the laws of economics. And since they do not change, um, uh, once they have understood the, the laws once, they, they repeat this uh, very often, uh, someone like Ron Paul, Tom Woods, um, the Mises Institute, they repeat almost every day the same analysis, but they analyze singular, or, or part, singular events. Here I'm talking about economic or social phenomena, phenomena or particular um, sets of events but the universal which means the laws of economics they understand them much more than anyone else that's why the analysis most of the time they are clear-minded and, and accurate and intelligent but in a way i will formulate this differently Mises Ludwig von Mises wrote a book about socialism in 1922 and he discovered the economic truth about socialism it was I haven't read the book thoroughly but it's not exactly purely the truth like Newton discovered the truth about gravitation although later advances in physics showed that actually it was not perfectly accurate that the, the conceptual frame w was not completely adequate, uh, space and time had to be redefined, etc. But nonetheless, in, 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 in the historical process of the development of science, Newton found the truth. Then it was later refined, modified, adjusted, uh, etc. But in a chronological perspective, it was Newtonian physics was as true as it could be understood in the context and the same could be said of, of all great scientists and Mises is a, a great social scientist in the realm of economics and he discovered the truth the economic truth about socialism a century ago and all great books which explain the this fundamental dysfunctioning of Keynesian or, or socialized or, or collectivist economics ever since 
whether a Hayek, Rothbard, Hoppe, Di Lorenzo, Per Bailand, etc., and many others, they, they borrow a lot of their ideas from Mises, who was the, the first to formulate as clearly and as rigorously uh, as, as, as then possible the, the fundamental problems, and they have just been repeating the ideas of Mises, and that's not a criticism, that's good. But someone who understands the universal once, in a way, here, that's just in the particular, particular case of economics, all he can do, in a way, is to, to repeat uh, the, the same formula and to adapt it to the various particular and singular cases. But uh, someone who has understood the ID uh, will, will speak, in a way, intelligently, uh, as long as he makes analyses, in a way. So, what, I want, what I'm trying to express is that people um, in their day-to-day -day life, they, they, they live uh, within the realm of the singular, but actually it's not disconnected from the universal, but they have a very limited perspective on reality, because for most people, reality, for them, it's their daily interactions, their encounters, their relationship with others, work, uh, family, paying bills, uh, uh, going out with friends, uh, shopping, it's really a, a, a limited and limiting view of what reality is, but uh, uh, without entering the philosophical complexity, just from a scientific standpoint, the laws, the universal, they are identical everywhere and at all time, and therefore every spatial determination is just a singularization of the universal laws at work. Here I'm sitting on my chair, uh, eating my breakfast, if I publish this video, and whoever you are, when or if you watch this, when you do, the laws of physics which apply to you, and the laws of physics which, and, and of chemistry, uh, because I'm eating and digesting uh, my breakfast, which apply to me, they, they apply to you as well. And uh, yeah, that's just an issue. And the, not just the laws of physics, but the laws of economics, uh, of psychology, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et that's why every singular human is what I call a window of consciousness open on the totality and every singular human perceives the totality but from his limited perspective and to think means to, to view not with the eyes but through the mind the whole because the whole is present in every part. Yeah. And the, the, the consequences uh, of, of this is that here I will not use UPS but <coughs> the categories of Grund und Existence ground would be the, the foundation or the fundamentals and whatever comes into existence or exists comes from its ground from, from the foundation and whatever is founded upon principles or an idea or, or, or yeah, uh, whatever is founded upon a set of ideas contains within itself the fundamental determinations. The constitution of a country is the fundamental law, uh, Grundsatz in German, Namely, all other laws, they derive from the fundamental principle, the fundamental set of law, and they all contain within, their, within themselves the, the fundamental, the essential, the most important, uh, the basic uh, determinations. And when you understand this, that a society, any human society is founded upon it's, it's people, eventually, it, 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 there is a socio-biological basis to human societies. So if there are changes 
in, in the sociobiological composition of the population, it will have effect onto all existing institutions. And uh, yeah. Or if you change the, the, the morality of the people, which is the, the foundation of collective and individual behavior, it will have an, an, an impact upon all other existing interactions. And what is fundamentally changed or fundamentally good or fundamentally problematic, it has a, an influence, it has consequences upon all existing phenomena which derived from this fundamental principle or set of principles or objective determination if we're talking about a natural um, determination. But here, what it means in the case of, of economics, uh, if, if a, a social policy is fundamentally flawed, like redistributing money uh, while, while borrowing debts uh, which cannot be repaid, if it's fundamentally uh, flawed, or, or if the, 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 the the interest rate are artificially manipulated if it's fundamentally uh, uh, distorted all existing all subsequent all derived phenomena will be problematic and for those who understand this namely who see the the ground of social phenomena whether demographic uh sociobiological or or the the ground of, of economic phenomena uh, banking system, um, uh, the, the, the ethics of, of the people, the morality of the people, etc. Those who understand the fundamental tendencies, the fundamental trends, they understand that that uh, uh, um, singular events and phenomena have to derive from the fundamental problems in a way. This is why the intelligent people they they talk about. The universal or the, the ground or the laws or the cause these are categories and not about the the, 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 the events the phenomena the consequences or only to illustrate but the, the the intelligent people the intellectuals they talk about the you and the p instead of yeah an, an intellectual i simplify but an intellectual talks about the you not you uh, y o u but you the universal and journalists they talk about the S, but the, the S are determined by the U. So, the, the reason why there are so many uh, <coughs> intelligent people, I mean, there are not many, but the reason why the intelligent people are so intelligent, like Ron Paul or the libertarians in general, is because they understand the U, And the reason why they are uh, not renowned or um, um, listened to or um, acknowledged by, by, by the population is because most of the people, they live within singular events, their day-to-day -day reality, and they do not have either the time or the education or the intelligence or the interest to think about the laws which structure their day-to-day -day experience. That's why there is a, a, a disconnect in a way. Because when you understand this, it's very frustrating because someone like Ron Paul uh, he expresses himself every day. He says intelligent things, but very few people listen, not only in the US, but in the world at large, because the you, because it is universal, if you understand the laws, even if they are derived from a singular case, the economic situation, uh, in the US, in the case of Ron Paul, or, or the libertarians, they, they mostly care about the singular case of the US because this is where they live and this is where most of their clients or customers or viewers or uh, 
uh, peers are, but actually it's not always the case, and they are intelligent enough to know that the, the laws are universal. They are valid for everyone. That, that's why uh, I watch Ron Paul, but that's why I, I, I advise uh, for people who live in, in uh, anywhere in South Korea or in, in any African country or in Brazil or wherever, to, to, to if they speak English, to listen to, to Ron Paul or to the Mises Institute, because because the, the, the laws of economics are universal. They apply to all. Yeah. And, and here that's... Uh, <clears throat> that's kind of not my autistic self, but actually that's just my, my scientific self. The idea that the universe is governed by laws has become common in scientific culture since at least the days of Galileo and Newton, since the, the, the 17th century, for, for four, uh, four centuries, in the chronological perspective, it has been acknowledged that, that the universe is governed by laws and that these laws can be known. Uh, they, they can be determined. But the Western world has rejected unconsciously or consciously um, its own scientific tradition um, And, and the reason, the historical reason, is because the misuse of science uh, by some people, uh, the Germans, yeah, and it has left a trauma, and, and, and the Western world unconsciously has given up on, on its scientific ideal, and... Um, to the point that people are, are not even aware uh, of, of some basic scientific truths which used to be common sense at least within the scientific community but uh, yeah I'll make a shorter video. Uh, yeah. These are my <coughs> daily thoughts in the morning at uh, 7 a.m. while eating breakfast. Uh, I intend to go about my daily routine to keep studying, to keep producing content, to keep working, and uh, yeah.